Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the OMC2 News. More evidence has emerged that supports the claim that Houston and Peckham will be added into OMC2 add on London. In addition, we have news regarding the Morden project, another South London map being developed. So we take a we take our first look in the news regarding Hilford and District, a map that's being developed again based on London. In addition, several power blinds, repaints, and branding patches have been released for the London uh, the bus that come with AOL. We have some information about Kultur uh, Stadt Rota, which is a tram map in development, and München has received an update. This is the OMC2 News. And this is your host, Transport Enthusiast. So firstly, regarding add-on London, uh, we mentioned in the last news video that there is a possibility that routes like 171 uh, the, and 68 will be extended. And now more evidence has emerged that supports the claim that Houston and Peckham will be added into OMSI 2 London. So it has been pointed out on the Fellows Film on one of the forums that if you take a look in the map editor of OMSI 2 out of London, you will notice objects called Houston and Peckham. This supports the claim that these... Uh, that these Areas will be added in the island in the future, since obviously, uh, if the objects are called Peckham and Houston, the, the intention or the desire of the, the aim from the developer is to add these areas into the future, and most work is already done. So this is all ob obviously a uh, hopeful start. In December 2020, which was last year, we got an update regarding the Morden project, which is another South London map, uh, South London map being in development. And basically, this is the update we got. So what we can see is. Uh, there's some additional information about the AI that's going to be used in the map, so the E200 MMC and the C400. And there's some surprises that will be revealed. But the main thing in this update was just some more pictures of the modern project. So as you can see here, the realism is fairly accurate and it's just showing you the progress. And the map is progressing quite nicely indeed. As always, the links to all this information is on our Discord server in the obc 2 News channel. And you can take a look at this in, at your own leisure. Ilford the District. Ilford the District is yet another uh, London map being uh, developed by Phantom Productions and it's a heavily whipped map. So the plan for it is to include, as you can see here, I think it's about seven bus lines. Uh, the 396, the 296, the 150, 128, 462, 147 and 169. Obviously here the general FAQ and then here are some screenshots of the area. Uh, you can see early access videos of these. Uh, I think someone has posted a video of these and here you go. Uh, this is the progress thus far. If we take a look at Kulturstadt and Rotha, this has been a map that's been in development for quite a few years now. But one of the main things that's, uh, that's surfaced now is this new tram here. So uh, I think this is a Siemens tram, but before the pictures were including Tatcha KT4DMs. So if we just ignore Facebook's uh, insistence on uh, logging in, you'll see that beforehand they were using the Tatcha KT4DM. But now this new tram has uh, surfaced. Now there is still no news when exactly this map will be uh, released. But there again has been early access videos of it. But this is obviously hopeful because this is one of the big uh, tram maps that's been in development for quite a while. And it should be hopeful especially with this new tram being developed. We also have some news regarding OMC2 add-on Munchen. So this was an add-on that was released uh, I think about a year ago. It was 25, uh, it was about 25 euro. It's now on sale. But basically what's been added in the new update is they have added all the new repaints. Uh, there's been an extension to uh, the line 154, uh, 154 by approximately 3 uh, kilometers. So I kind of add that upon release. They only included one route and it's not the full route. Seems a bit, it seems rather uh, overpriced then. If it was 25 euro for one route, it's not even a full route. But anyway, let's leave that. Uh, they've also added in some AI trams. So any of you who are following them on their Facebook or on their uh, other media platforms may have seen the AI tram. This is only an AI tram, however. Uh, and then you have here the KI tram Avenue. So the Avenue has been added. And then there's some Christmas uh, events been added as well. So that's really the, uh, the news in regarding to maps that are currently in development. There's still no release date for Grand Paris Malone, but it's been on the Steam page for about uh, three or four weeks now, so we can expect it to be released quite short, let's say in the next two weeks, something like that. Uh, some repaints have been released for the Evil City, so we have a Dublin bus uh, repaint by LXM for both the Evil City and for the Root Master. In addition, uh, power blinds are now starting to be released for most maps, so currently we have power blinds for Yorkshire, Sk uh, Stratshire, Scunthorpe, uh, Cotterell and Buses of the West Country, so that just leaves Farthington and Smarden to be added. Uh, the, this power blind pack also includes announcements for Yorkshire, so this also means that you can use your UK uh, maps on these as well one thing to bear in mind is there's still no fix for the c400 or uh due to the fact that 
Um, basically, the UK DT is currently uh, prioritizing Adam London as that is the payware product. But if you take a look here into the OBS2 tutorial section, I have created a video on how to fix the integer vert error that appears when you try to load Scunter up Yorkshire any bus that uses the AIC 400 or if you have Adam London installed. So I encourage you to check that out and then you can play the maps with these. This is a very easy uh, fix, it takes about two minutes to do. In addition, something that I may, uh, was uh, spotted last week was that Studio Polygon are working on a Gemini 1. I'm pretty sure this picture of the Gemini 1 was on the Discord beforehand, uh, but interestingly enough, it only seemed to be uh, noticed now, or perhaps I'm wrong about that. But basically, they released the picture, and as uh, is traditional Studio Polygon, they like to release what they're working on through these screenshots. So, as you can see now, a Gemini 1 is also in the workings. In the background, you can see the London Spec 400 MMC and Street Light, so those should be released in the not so distant in the future hopefully and um, finally also some people were asking about the branding patch for the london city buses uh so ollie uh who was who had given me the uh modern advance thanks uh i mean to him uh, has released the has released the branding patch for the london city buses on thousand i'm just trying to find here where i put it so all the so sorry all the links to the Amsterdam 2 Island Londons are right here in the Discord at the repaints and blinds. So here you can get the branding patch for London City Buses on Virtual Hub. And this basically puts in your Alexander Dennis logos for C200 and C400. And in addition, it also puts the regional, it puts the Volvo, it puts the Volvo one on the Evo City. And then it fixes also the, it puts in the C200 loading screen for the C200 rather than the London. It should do for the other buses, but I haven't seemed to gotten that to work. In addition, we also have announcements uh, have been published for. So announcements have been published for the other buses, the other UK buses, mainly the B70L ALX400, the ALX400 Regional, the Citaro, and the Envira 200 MMC. So these announcements are for London. So now you can uh, not only add the London announcements to the Studio Polygon and Master Switch buses, you can also add them to the freeware buses uh, that are available on Uh For the Transbus ALX400 London Spec and Digibus Phantom, there was an initial step that's required. However, when I did this, it did not seem to work, so I cannot guarantee that will work. But that too has been released, so now you can get the announcements to London. One thing to bear in mind is, as with the Studio Polygon, Polygon buses, the, it's only the bus stop announcements that work. Unfortunately, the route announcements do not work. That seems to be something that's only limited, uh, only works on the buses that come with Adam London. And finally, the last thing we have is we also have uh, the actually here quickly the Adam London Judy cards have been released. So for those of you who like to see the Judy cards, you can take a look at that. But more importantly, we also got a. Let me just pause this. And finally, Morphe's uh, well-known scripts, Gearbox scripts, that are for the ZF, the Voy, have also been released to all the UK buses. So now you can also download Morphe scripts. So Morphe is a well-known uh, sound mod developer, uh, known as Morpheus here in the web disk. And uh, he's basically released his scripts for the all, all the UK buses. So the, uh, the Streetlight, the 400 MMC, the Gemini 3, the two, Enviro 200, and the Enviro 400. One thing to bear in mind is I'm not sure if these are optimized for the UK buses or if they're just the ones that are used on the LHG, just paste it over into the for the UK buses, but there you have it, that has also been released. That is the OMSI 2 news for this week. Uh, if you found this video helpful, give, make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe for your weekly OMSI 2 news videos. Do join, do join the Discord for more OMSI 2 news links, and you can find all the links to the downloads and to the information in our OMSI 2 news section and in our uh, download link category, which is right here. So all the all the releases that have been mentioned here are the OMSI 2 recommended downloads. Uh, that's it for now. Until next time.